What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. It is about time to get in my pull workout. So I'm gonna to put together my pre-workout shake real quick. Most of you already know what this is. It's, we're doing one scoop of Total War, one scoop of Big Noise, one scoop of Moab, and a little bit of salt. If you're interested in trying any of these products out, link is down in the description box below. Use my code T20ChaseI to get yourself 20% off and to help support the channel. Today we're gonna to talk about something that I have talked about before, uh, but because, you know, as the months and years go by, we get new subscribers and people that ask questions that have already been answered, and this one has been asked quite often. What is my current supplement stack, my current health? supplement stack guys if you want to know more about peds drug use that kind of stuff join my membership down below two dollars a month and you will have access to all of my performance enhancing drug videos i have now made most of them members only videos so if you're interested in that kind of stuff check that out link is down in the description box below or in the first comment down below but we are talking about health supplements, things that we take to help keep us healthy while using things that might not be beneficial for our health. So let's go through those right now. This is currently everything that I am using for my health supplements. First up, what we've got here, RPG. RPG is a glucose disposal agent. It has a handful of different supplements in here that help slow down the digestion of carbohydrates, helps break them down better and sending them more towards your muscle tissue instead of to be stored as fat, essentially. That's what it is in a nutshell. Uh, RPG, I use this two times a day. Four caps is a serving. I take four capsules with my first meal of the day and four capsules with my fifth, fourth or fifth meal of the day. Uh, and that is an everyday thing. Fish oil, this, fish oil, this particular fish oil is a favorite of mine because three pills is one serving. And in three pills, you get a total of 3,500 milligrams of omega-3s. Now that's like real omega-3s. Uh, that's 2,000 milligrams of EPA and 1,500 milligrams of DHA. So that's 3,500 milligrams of omega-3s out of three pills, which means each pill contains about 1.15 grams of omegas per pill per capsule. Like that's huge. That's very, very good. Most of these kinds of pills, like it'll say one serving as a pill, like one pill will have maybe 300 milligrams of omega-3s in it. While these have, each pill has 1.15 grams, 1.17, of omega-3s. So I use three of these a day uh, in the morning with my first dose of all of this stuff. I think this is a, an amazing, amazing product. You can get this on Amazon. Check down in the description box below. You'll see a link to all these supplements and where I get them on Amazon. I don't get the Redcon 1 products from Amazon. I get those from Redcon 1, obviously, but yeah. So that's that. Uh, I take this for heart health, for cholesterol health. That's the main reason that I take it. And all of these things are gonna have more, more benefits than what I say that they have. But I'm just gonna be sharing with you the main reasons that I take them. So keep that in mind. I'm sharing why I use them. I'm not sharing all the benefits that come with them. So that's that. Med kit. Med kit is Redcon 1's kind of all around organ health supplement. Uh, it includes lots of different things that I do have in my tackle box here. So this is kind of like one way to get an all around dose of everything. I mean, like in here, there's 1.5 grams of fish oil. There's a thousand milligrams of astragalus, which I have astragalus down in my tackle box. Uh, there's 375 milligrams of milk thistle. 
300 milligrams of NAC, uh, 250 milligrams of resveratrol, 200 milligrams of turmeric, 150 milligrams of hawthorn berry, uh, 50 milligrams of CoQ10, 0.5 micrograms of vitamin K2. So like there's there's a lot in this, but I feel that to get a decent dose out of it, you have to take two servings a day, which I do. And then I also throw this extra stuff on top of it. <laughs> but but yeah, I mean, I take this just kind of for the overall, because like I don't take anything for my liver and this has NAC in it. Yeah, I don't take resveratrol outside of this, so. That's what's up there. This one of these bottles will last you one month. There's 60 servings in this. So it's kind of intended to be used two times a day so that you get a big dose out of it. But it says on here, you know, five servings, five pills is a serving. So that's that. This is krill oil. The thing that I like about krill oil is that it includes Omega-3 phospholipids. Phospholipids are much better absorbed than just the, uh, you know, the regular omega-3. So I like, I include this with my fish oil. Not that I think that, not that I know that this works, but the reason that I do it, and this might be a stupid reason, I mean, it probably is a stupid reason, but the reason that I do it is because this includes phospholipids. This doesn't have phospholipids. If I put them together, I think the phospholipids in this will help pull this and everything gets absorbed better by including this. That's my thought process on it. Whether or not that's accurate or not is probably, you know, something worth considering. I don't know if that is something that happens, but that's that's the main reason that I take it, is that I feel that it helps my other fish oils get absorbed better. Um, but then the other reason is that this also helps with cholesterol. Ubiquinol. The reason that I include ubiquinol is because as we get older, our body's levels of CoQ10 decrease. And through CoQ10, we get ubiquinol, which helps with energy production. So if you're low on CoQ10, if you're low, means meaning you'll be low on ubiquinol, meaning you'll probably have some side effects of low energy output. When including PEDs, this reduces your CoQ10 levels a little more dramatically. So utilizing ubiquinol while on a cycle can be very beneficial for energy production. It also can help lower blood pressure. Noon is a hydration product. It contains basically sodium, potassium, one dissolving like chalk pill of this stuff will give you 300 milligrams of sodium and 150 milligrams of potassium. I typically will go through two to four of these per day. I use it because it helps flavor my water. It makes it easier to drink my water in the day. And I'm getting hydrated better while including this in my water. So that's the main reason that I use that. This is something new that I've been including just to help me get more water down. Um, because one of the things about Jordan's program is that he is very much, um, uh, uh, he is very much a driver of water. He wants me to be getting in at least a gallon of water a day. So that really helps out with all of that. Now, this is my tackle box. My tackle box contains a lot of different things. Over here on the side, this is just med kit. I just leave it in here because it's easier to just reach in there and pull it out with everything else. This product here is horse chestnut. Horse chestnut helps reduce fluid buildup in my legs. Like that's the main reason that I use it is that it helps with not vascularity, but it helps with circulation in your lower limbs. And I've seen this help lowering the amount of fluid that I hold in like my feet and my ankles. Like I've always had an issue with that. Even when I was a kid, I was told that I had poor circulation in my legs. I don't know why or where that came from, but I was always told that as a kid from my parents. And it was always something that uh, we had to pay attention to. Like if I played out in the snow too long, my legs would go numb <laughs> and that was an issue. Uh, but. That's the reason that I use this. I've been using it for quite a while now, and I have noticed that it does prevent any ankle foot fluid buildup. Here, I've got IP6, a little bit of IP6 in there, and then I've got a lot of uh, citrus bergamot. Citrus bergamot helps with cholesterol. I take two of these in the morning, two at night. 
By the way, horse chestnut, I take one in the morning, one at night. Med kit, I take five of these in the morning, five at night. IP6 helps lower your hematocrit, which is very important for us that are using performance enhancing drugs. IP6, I take just one of these first thing in the morning. Boron helps raise your free testosterone levels. I made a video about this and a lot of people picked up on it and uh, have purchased boron, which I very, very smart on you guys. Boron, I take two of these first thing in the morning and then two more at my nightly dose. Uh, two pills is six milligrams total, so 12 milligrams a day. How does it do this? It does it by reducing your sex hormone binding globulin. Lowering that frees up more testosterone, having letting you have more free testosterone. Raises your free testosterone levels. And I've seen it raise free testosterone levels by three times the normal amount. Up here, I've got a mixture of vitamin D3 and K2. D3 is something that, you know, we all need to be taking because we are all deficient in it because we don't get out in the sun enough. And especially like during these times, we don't have much of a reason to go outside, you know? So I take D3, um, 5,000 I use one time first thing in the morning. Uh, vitamin K2 helps decalcify your arteries, which is very, very important, especially when you are doing what a lot of us do. Here I've got curcumin. Curcumin has been shown to lower the size of your heart. It has a way of blocking an enzyme that goes into your heart, which tr signals it to grow. I read about it. I, I can't explain all the little specifics about it, but it is what it is. And research has shown that using curcumin can reduce the size of your heart by up to 40% over time. Um, if any of you follow Dante Trudel, he has posted a lot about this and his experiences with helping bodybuilders reduce the size of their heart using this. So this is something that I feel, you know, to prevent hypertrophy of your heart. Um, I feel that like this is a very important product that we all should be using. I use two of these in the morning, two at night. I believe it's a gram in the morning, gram at night. And then this last one here is astragalus which is one of my favorite compounds because astragalus is great for your kidneys. Astragalus helps uh, improve kidney function greatly. However, the thing about kidneys is that when people get tested for it, when people get tested for their kidney function, typically they do it off of creatinine, which creatinine I do not feel is a reliable way of going about checking that because, because we have more muscle, because we typically work out very hard, it can skew the creatinine numbers greatly. And that doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, you've got bad kidneys. It just means that you've got a lot of muscle and you're working out hard. You know, it's just, that's the way that it goes. A better test to check your kidneys to get a more accurate GFR is to get a cystatin C test done. Now, I got both of these tests done at the same time and my creatinine test showed that I had a GFR of about 70 something. Um, however, the cystatin C test gave me a GFR of 120, which is perfectly healthy, normal kidneys. So take that for what you will. Um, but that is all of the health supplements that I am currently using and the reasons why I am using them. That's it. That's all I got to share with you guys today. I hope you found this video informative, helpful, whatever. Remember to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Join my membership if you want to know more about PEDs. Thank you so much for stopping by. Remember, nobody cares. Train harder and I will see you all tomorrow.